Hey guys, Paul Salmon here. I want to talk to you guys. Uh, this will be uh, part eight, I believe, of students that have tried to kill me. And this one, I'm actually going to discuss a student that sort of did try to kill me on this one. <laughs> so what this is, has to do with is uh, the application of uh, carb heat, and specifically to the, R, uh, the R22. You know? And you guys already know there's some required equipment on board the Robinson. It has to be functional, you know, the GOAL mnemonic or GOAL H, you know, G being, you know, governor, O is OAT gauge, A alternator, L low rotor RPM horned light. And then on the R44, the H stands for hydraulics. Well, in my opinion, Robinson ought to add the uh, plastic mixture guard on as a required piece of equipment that must be there before you fly the R22. And uh, so let's get into why. So let's go out to the hangar and I'll uh, explain what I'm talking about here. Okay, so I just want to show you guys uh, what I've gotten uh, around to doing in the R22 is when I have a student, I have them, when they're going to apply carb heat, to not take their hand off that collective. You should be able to slide your hand forward, all right, keep the butt of your hand on the collective, reach down here, and you should be able to easily reach the carb um, heat and go ahead and, and apply your carb heat, right? What you want to get away from is the student taking their hand off the collective, sliding forward here and searching for the for the knob because the chances are, or one of the things that can happen is you can get up here and get a hold of the mixture, especially if it's a student that doesn't have much experience, is not terribly familiar with the aircraft yet, they've only got a few hours under their belt or whatever, and they could get up here and get a hold of <laughs> the mixture. Luckily, it's got this little plastic guard on it and that's 10 cents worth of plastic can save your life right there. I did have a student one night and it was actually during a night flight. We were on final coming in, um, or on a long final coming in and he reaches over to uh, grab a hold of and the uh, car heat to apply the car heat and ended up coming up with this in his hand like that. And I'm like, well, guess what? That little piece of plastic just saved our butt. You know? So if the student's gonna apply uh, carburetor heat, then you know do not have them remove the butt of their hand off that collective they should be able to be in contact with the collective and easily reach the carb heat um, knob all right so uh, about the only other thing i'd like to mention about the use of carb heat is that i used to teach students in the r22 when they were on the downwind to apply carb heat um, on when you got to midfield on the downwind i've since changed and I'm out now recommending as soon as they make the from the crosswind to the downwind turn, they apply the carb heat at that point. That way the carb heat is full on for a much longer period of time. It's on for probably 20 to 30 seconds instead of just about 10 seconds only if you apply it midfield by the time you're coming down with that collective, you only had your carb heat on for about 10 seconds. So I've tried to switch off and have the students when they go from the crosswind to the downwind, go ahead and apply the full carb heat. And remember, just because you have carb assist, you still have to apply the carb heat full on when you're on the downwind or on a long approach coming in. So that's the other mistake I see a lot of students will make is they'll forget for they'll forget to apply the carb heat, making the assumption that the carb assist is going to do it for them, and that's not entirely true. If you forgot to put it on, it's going to apply some carb heat, which is good, but you're still supposed to apply full carb heat. Um, you know prior to your descent so and the longer the better a good 20 to 30 seconds is uh is probably adequate and uh, like i say i've switched off to recommending that over just about 10 seconds so well i hope this was helpful and uh if you haven't already please like and subscribe and uh we'll see you guys on the next video